Hello and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Mythic Mode and this is episode 5. We left off last time and I was working on a mob farm and it really wasn't doing it. So I, I had a few ideas on what to do and this is what I ended up with. Let's take a peek at this thing. Now don't look over there. Don't look over there. Let's take a look and we'll break this open. You can see that it's all black. Uh, dark inside with the red X's. That means that things can spawn on there. Let's uh, break this open. This open. Oh boy. That vacuum hopper is uh, going to be opening these things up. Hmm. We'll even do this one. And it just zaps it along. And let's, let's take a look in here. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was terrible. I should have turned that off. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can see what happens. Uh, wow. Oh boy. Well, let's go back over here. Let's do this again. What are all these things doing? What is this? Maybe it's pointing the way? I don't know. Let's go back up and try this again. Oh, what is this? Like, little... It is. It's pointing me way back to my, uh, <laughs> my mistake. God, that scared me, too. This little switch, which I figured out finally how to make this work, uh, is part of the... Uh, well, um, so if we do this, we get all our stuff back. Okay. Not the end of the world, except... Oh, I took a bunch of damage to my, uh, the armor that I did find and get... Okay. So, these things, these entity conveyor belts... Let's take that up. Entity conveyor belts. These things weren't hard to make. The slime from the uh, rice. Uh, let's see, right there. Just the slime. Oh, make those. No problem from the rice. And I made a bunch of them. I even made a bunch for this so that it would. I could. I was going to put two pathways and. Uh, well, I started working on it, and I go, wait a second. If you read these things, conveyor mobs can spawn on this block. So no, even if I light it up, I think they can spawn on there. I'm not positive. I'll probably... I, I'm not sure. Maybe... I'm not sure either way. I'll double check that. Um, that'll be interesting. And I'd like to put... I have enough of them so that I can work well, run faster, because as you saw, as soon as I jumped up there, it pushed me right into the uh, the Mob Masher of Doom. God, that scared me, too. <laughs> so, I made the room. Oh, don't get up there now. And there we go. Just like that. I made a big room like this. Bunch of lights on the outside. Let's block this thing off again. Where did these things go? Probably over here somewhere. Let's find out. Right here. No problem. Let's put it back. Uh, let's get rid of that reminder of doom waypoints. <laughs> Remove like it never happened. Oh, God. Even the scream scared me. There, and and that way we can peek in there, and it turns it uh, that color, uh, dark like that. And we'll break this open. There it goes again. This thing might have a switch on it to be redstone. So I did a bunch of different trials. At first I just had a this absorption hopper, which is easy to make as well. Absorption. Hmm. Is it not gonna hopper? There it is. This thing's pretty easy to make. Obsidian we had. We just combine this with a pearl and done. So I've made a few of these already. And then I made these. Oops. Recipe. Those were a little harder, but I had the ender pearls, so I this 
um, upgrades the range of this. You can put up to six of them in there. And you can show the area. So there's the area that it does it in. You should probably try to make it so it only picks up in there. That would be the uh, ideal thing. That way, when I'm hopping these things, let's see if we can do something like that. Um, let's go offset. Uh, we'll go. Let's see. I'm pushing. Oh, I can only offset it by 10. Where is it now? We back it up. And it looks like, yeah, it kind of looks like it's only picking up there. That's the offset. And that, that kind of doesn't matter, but the um, plus. Nope, we're gonna go. We're gonna move it this way. And ten. I think that'll work. But maybe we'd reduce the size, and that would work better too. There we go. For now, I'll adjust that and make it better. You can kind of see where it's picking up. At least now it won't pick up off the ground. Only up there. Okay. We'll hide the area. So. This was a bit tricky, and by a bit, I mean a ton tricky. I knew I needed a loot bag opener. That was easy to make. And uh, so I, I knew I was going to end up with two sections, the regular loot and the loot bag contents, plus one other item, that one right there. It could have went the other way. So... I had to do the reinforced ones because otherwise I wouldn't have had enough um, spaces here to filter. It only had six, so I upgraded to the uh, reinforced servo. And I, as I found the items, I just put it in here and whitelisted it. Then on this side, blacklisted the same items. So those items can only go to the left because they're whitelisted. The rest of the items besides these can go to the right. So um, there it is. And it just pulls it on down. And I had to loop this thing around because otherwise it sees like this item might be a little closer as far as a container to put it in, even though it's not. So I made it, I made it so that it's for sure the farthest item away, meaning it'll go in here if there's not a spot in there, etc. So there we go. These things are going to be the, um, you know, they're going to have tons of them, whereas we're not going to have as many trophies. And slowly over time, I've been organizing this thing and putting the things kind of in order as I get more and more things. Now, stuff like this, I can just take this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put this here. There. There, and the food. Oh, a side note, really important. Cook the apple. Look how much it gives you. It gives you a lot better um, than the apple juice. I should have been cooking those from the beginning. And so occasionally, I just come in here and clear this other stuff out. Ooh, we got an artifact bag. Um, That should be going the other way. Let's take a look at this. find out why it didn't come over here. Maybe it just, uh, we're just going to double check. We're going to use the trash can to throw this random stuff out? Oh, maybe not. Enter I. I'll keep that. Get rid of that. Golden boots, feather falling, protection three. And that was gone. And feather falling. So we're going to replace these with these. And that with that. And then we'll put these away, oh, just like that. Okay, so find out, let's find out what the deal is here. Just to double check, there's the, yeah, it must have been an extra one. So we're going to open this up and find out what we get. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh boy, for now, I'll just toss that out of the way. So we're going to go in here. 
up with these. Just like that. And these are filling up over time. And eventually it will fill up with just the things that are the correct things. And the overflow stuff is going to go in here. Um, I'm also going to be working on putting the stuff that I don't care about, like sticks and this stuff, along the bottom. And the things I do care about up, uh, up on, on the top. That's easy to do. You just kind of just grab the item, move it down. And I'll do that. I've done a, more work on the other side. So each of these has an upgrade. Um, I made a ton of those things. And that just makes sure that you can have more stacks in there so it doesn't overflow that way. And you can see I've just started to do the um, organization of this thing. And it is, if it fills up, I'll just add another one here. And this is the overflow. Made a couple of those. Well, let's turn it back on, not jump in there. There it is with the mob masher. So it's pretty easy to make. Just use these things, darken off the area. You could, I like it where you can peek in there. It would be nice if I had some kind of uh, light that was controlled by a, a lever so that I could light up the inside whenever I wanted to as well. And that's probably something I'll work on down the road. The loot bag filter. Loot bag goes in here, pulls it out the back, and into the system. If I want to individually load things into this, I can put it in here. And this is the overflow that I'm working on. Quite a bit of overflow. Was there? That's weird. Oh, well. Because this is it's a lot of items. And again, I've been putting the stuff that I don't really care about down here. Although that nether wart I probably move up and then I started organizing this now you can't normally put these scrolls directly in here and there's some good scrolls in here but what you can do is if you have a scroll in your hand you can click it here by shift shift clicking this and then loading these things up that way and then directly put them in there but you can't just right click and put it on there because it wants to cast the item so I've been working on that getting these things um figured out and it's not so bad. Now I've got a loot system that is somewhat usable. I got some fire water. That's going to be important. And I like it. So that thing is running itself. We're getting resources, all the different things that I need. And we're in good shape. I'll probably, this thing has like a one in a thousand chance of giving you the item you need. So I might automate it with a loot bag opener of itself and then kind of re, you get the item back. And then you open it again and you try again, but doing that manually, it might even be like worse, like a one in 10,000 chance. So I'll let it just sit there and cycle through until it gets the item and then oh, I'll pop it out. And I'll use a, a filter thing for that as well. So let's find out what we can do. Not bad. The other stuff that I've been working on is, oh, hi cow. We did get a sheep over there. And I might use a golden lasso to move these guys to their own area. But as far as spawning goes, I mean, I've been pretty far away from here. You have to be like 32 away. And maybe it's because it's roofed forest or something. I don't get very good spawns, um, like free spawns. I mean, that's all that's been happening in 118 days. I also... I mean, I grew all these, and that's great, and I figured it out, but doing this manually and sitting there picking all those, are it, it's not the way to go. So what I've looked into is a, where is it, a gatherer? Let's find out. Hmm. Plant gatherer. It can gather all those things, and I hope it can do... It doesn't say in the list there mystical agriculture, but because these are agricraft on those posts, I'm hoping that's the case. Um, and then it'll, I can power it up and go from there and do the thing. Oh, hello. I don't have a helm now because I blew up. So this is working out. And I put some rice and I put a bunch of little crops over there. And that's doing the thing. So let's go down this way. I'm working on this area as well. Um, I found a solution to the problem of, you know, you get these and then you gotta, 
you got to do the um, where you got to crunch them into the four. You got to, you know, four of them makes a nugget or an ore. The solution I have is this item right here. And it's powered and it's called a simple crafter from Ender IO. What I plan to do is make one for each of the thing that I'm working on. So I'll have like maybe 20 of these machines in a, in a room all dedicated to themselves and feed, feed it in with um, ender chests. And these iron pieces, you just drag them up there and you make the recipe. And then it pulls, it pulls from, you know, you can, you can go like this, push, pull, disabled. Push it pulls from the item here. So what I'll have is a distribution center where or a section where it pumps all these things down into their right spots, and then it will only pull that item into this thing. And once it gets it done, it'll pump it back out into a finished product. Now I also realize that instead of cooking these things, you put them in a pulverizer, and it doubles the. Uh, it doubles it. It turns them into two of the uh, like the ore blend things, the little powders, and then you can cook those. So you double your rate by putting them through the uh, through a pulverizer, a crusher, things like that. So I'll be doing that as well. But that's on the on the list of things to do. And I want to power it with um, the thermal the magnetic dynamo because I know I can get um, lots and lots of. Uh, this is easy to do easy to make sort of <laughs> and I'll have an energy cell I can make these no problem so I'll have lava with this because it's like a 20x or a 30x versus the lava this way and pumping into a system and it'll all do its thing so that's on the <laughs> list of things to do I'm I'll need to make a an entire room for that I guess because I want to um, I want to sift and then dump it in there real quick and it'll figure it out and separate it and do the thing all the automation basically so I got that going oh boy and this is all the same still uh, added a couple moved over these did this so I can do um, blocks of stuff more easily worked on this some more Notice these aren't working right now. It's because I've been so busy on other things that all this stuff fills up. But we can go over here and grab a bunch. Oh, don't look at that. Oh, we've got our ender lilies cooking away. It's easy to start it up and, you know, do its thing. And let's take a look at what this one is. that full? Oh, it is. So sand... Oh boy. Yeah, it's just uh oh you know what I can do? I'll just take these. I've got a spot for those. I don't have a spot for those. I do have a spot for these. This gravel. We'll put the gravel right in here. And this is probably full. We're getting there. Um I could put some sand in here, correct? Sand to gravel. Wait, gra oh boy, I gotta think this through. This makes sand. So we'll put the sand. It's got some space, barely. It's got space. Now they're all working. And the dust, I'll take out some dust and I'll turn that into. So we. Don't look. Okay. We'll turn that into, we got tons of this. There we go. And what I'll do here is uh, just to have some terracotta. We'll go cook it up real quick. Not real quick, but there we go. It's nice to have the terracotta. In fact, I'll even have some clay balls cooked up too. And make bricks out of them. 
because we're getting so much extra stuff, I might as well just have it ready to go. That way I don't have to think about it. Ooh, that's interesting. So I was doing a lot of work right here. And I would sit there and pick out, pick through things and find out where everything is. And I said, you know what? I, I don't want to be doing that anymore. So go like that. Pick this up. Put it here. It took a lot of work. And this thing's supposed to. This is fire water that I got over there. I dumped it on this, um, on the bedrock there. And it's supposed to give a grain of infinity. But it's a very, very slow process. So slow that, oh, I finally got one. And it's probably been an hour or so, maybe more. <laughs> so it's a very low chance. Ideally, you'd want to go down to where bedrock is and do it that way and just pour it on there and do it. I do want to do this fire starter thing. I can make this the block placer. I can make I can make this and what it'll do is it'll start a fire on there periodically. Oh, hello sheep. Sheep up there buying. So, we can do it that way. And that'll up the rate considerably. I'll have to do that pretty soon actually. Okay. So, this is a much better um, workstation. Um, everything's kind of organized nicer. And these weird things. There's a block. Of, there's an infinity dust block and grains of infinity. Nine of those makes that. Um, fire list. This is the stuff I melted down. And I'm just going to dump that in there for now. This is the uh, unknown section. But that allows me to just walk up, and if I want a block of, uh, you know, a stack of that stuff, I've kind of organized it so that I've got cobblestone. This is the, the four things, cobblestone, um, gravel, sand, dust. I've got all the, that, uh, the, the clay over there, excess this. This is the string and the woven, the how you make that, with even some wool. I've got the paper into the books, glass, just like that. I'll probably be putting some coal on this side. And then I know that this is iron, that's steel, copper and tin, gold and silver kind of go together, and lead went below it. I'm going to be making a bunch of the uh, electrotene and the alloys for these, and I'll put those here. And these items are very, you know, they're, they're the classic um, expensive type items and a spot for that and then up here is the tools I use often and that's a reminder that I need to use the uh, drop of evil somehow I got to figure that whole thing out so it's accessible buildable right here I've got my um, extra um, drawers extra chests this stuff it's all it's just basically organized nicely um, one of the things that, uh, uh, one of the things that happens a lot, let's say you're trying to move a chest, uh, one of these drawers and you take everything out of it and it leaves, it leaves that in there and you're trying to get it out. You can't, you're trying to even, you unlock it and lock it and it still doesn't go away. What I figured out is you have to lock, have it locked. I'm sorry, maybe unlock it. You unlock it first, take everything out. Let's see if we can do that right now. Unlock it first, take everything out, then lock it. But if you do it the other way, of course it stays there. And it, it just kind of caught me off guard because I was trying to break it. And it was because sometimes you want to move an item over there and you're like, oh, this doesn't, you know, it's not the right. Set, you know, that you don't like it there. And I want to move it around. So I figured out that uh, it, it was kind of glitchy, and then I figured out the proper-ish way to do it, which makes sense in retrospect. <laughs> but at the time, I, I ended up with a lot of those things that way. So we're in good shape. Um, lots of uh, coal. I've been doing... Um, I've been actually letting this thing fill up and not make the extra coal because we're, we've been ahead of our coal production. To make all those drawers and the um, upgrades, you need 
thousands and thousands of sticks. So um, get get ready for those if you're going to go down that route as well. And that's the update. Basically, that's uh, I don't think I I don't see any other stuff that I've done. Um, the recap took very very short compared to um, compared to where I was going with the other stuff. It it it. it it was a lot, a lot of work. Made a little bookshelf to put some books on there. This stuff is my, um, um, the, um, what? I can't remember the name of that. <laughs> the nether. I put all the nether stuff down in here. Extra stuff there. But I'm trying to get more organized. And despite that, here's a, a bunch of, um, whatchamacallit that I've been making. Um, drawer controllers for the future. <laughs> I have them ready to go. But I am by far more, way more organized now. The next things up to do will be work on this system to get get this solved and just taken care of. Like I could even move. Um, let's show you how I do this. This is kind of neat. There's some tape. Let's see if it actually works. We're going to go like, we're just going to arbitrarily put this one right here. We're going to use this tape. Let's see if I can break it out. Got a thing in there. This one right here, we're just going to move it. By putting tape on it, then breaking it, we can just move it right down there and it doesn't, doesn't do the, uh, doesn't lose the things. There. I've got that there. And the tape is right here. It's a pretty useful thing. That way it doesn't spill out everywhere. And that's what I'll be working on. Oh gosh. I don't need these here anymore. So I've got a spot for those. So uh, the next plan is to work on that stuff. Move all this system out of here. Use the... Um, ender chests and feed this stuff in with lava powered and really get into the things where all the items are compacted cheaply and then fed into um, maybe a set of pulverizers. Uh, yeah, I should be able to just pulverize the ores and get the, get the powders out and go from there. Maybe then figure out instead of like a coal powered and then go from there. So that's the plan and looking forward to pulling this off. <laughs> It'll be interesting. And, and I'll have to like build out, um, I'll have to build out that way. Cause I still like this room for what it, what it entails, but maybe make it go like this and pretty far because I want to be able to still sift and reach up and just dump a bunch of stuff into a into a box of sorts and have it pull out and go from there. And I'll give you an example of the better apple. Look at that. It, a lot of saturation and tons of turkey legs. I don't know what those are called. Turkey legs something. And away we go. So uh, with that, I will see you next episode. That's just the, uh, the big, big progress was getting that and this done. I've been looking at a sorting system and they're so expensive and so uh, far down the line that it's just not even feasible right now. Um, every, like the ME system, there's no um, simple storage. There's no, uh, there's, yeah, there's no easy ways to do storage and crafting from like, um, if you've seen the other series I've done, there's no easy way to do it here. So with that, I will see you guys next time. And it's sunrise again. Very, very nice.